What is it, everybody? And welcome back to another gaming news station session. Uh, this time around, we only have a total of five things to come out, and I just got done releasing another game, uh, gaming news, which was five days ago, which I did not expect for. I did not expect it to be that that long. I mean, I, I can't believe it's been that long since I released my last one. But I want to go ahead and release this one a little bit early because I don't want to pass up on the news and wait till a little bit later. So this time around. Today, we got some Battlefield Hardline players spent 3,800 years in game. That is fucking insane. Wow. So it says, over 2 billion minutes, or 3,805 years of gameplay has spent into Battlefield Hardline. According to, according to a new infographic of, from EA, the game modes Hotwire, Conquest Large, and Heist dominate the main the majority of the time across Hardline's top three maps, Downtown, Everglades, and Riptide. So that is freaking insane. So the most popular class in Battlefield Hardline is the Operator. Similar to Assault in previous Battlefields installments, used about 46% of players. 22% of players play professional. 21% 21% play a mechanic, and 11% Played enforcer. So far, players engage in two hundred and two hundred and twenty-four million nine hundred and forty-three thousand three hundred fifty-one multiplayer battles, earning nine hundred and one billion in-game dollars. That is freaking insane! How much people are just playing that much amount of Hardline? To me, I don't really care for Hardline. I'm more of a just one battle for, but that is insane. So, moving on to the next subject, Twisted Video Game Five Nights at Freddy's to become a movie. Fans fans of demonic bears are in luck. Video Game Five Nights at Freddy's is getting a big screen treatment. Uh, it says the Hollywood writers that write uh, Warner Bros. distribute a film version of Five Nights at Freddy's, the popular game created by Scott Calhoun, Seth Graham, Seth, I can't pronounce a lot of this stuff, uh, and David Kutzenberg are producing alongside Roy Lee. That trio is current at work on Kerry Kavukina or something like that. Adaption to of Stephen King's It. So pretty much they are making a movie of Five Nights at Freddy's, which is kind of... I don't know how that's going to turn out because I don't know why, but there's... I hope it doesn't become like a trend unless it already is a trend, but... A lot of games are seem to get a lot of popularity. Popularity are starting to come out with movies, and we know how Resident Evil turned out. I mean, I like Resident Evil One movie, but that was okay. But the rest of them, I, not so much, not so much. So, yeah. Coming on next is rather kind of confusing, and it's just pretty much just got released. Um, I want to say around eleven o'clock this morning. Um, Visceral Games VP Steve Pat. Outsis, I hope I said that right, departs from EA after 15 years. Is replaced by Scott Probist, who lead Hardline's multiplayer development. Dead Space and Battlefield Hardline developer, Visceral Games VP, and general manager of 15 years, Steve Pap Outsis, is, <coughs> is still is no longer at EA. The publisher has confirmed to Eurogamer. We are thankful for Steve's many contributes to EA and wish him the best. The publisher state in the treatment in a statement, uh, Visceral Game Teams continue to focus on a new game, on new game content of Battlefield Hardline, including expansion packs as well as new development projects. So and it says uh Pap Alsis served as the franchise exclusive director of Dead Space where he worked on all five entries into the survival horror saga. He also served as the VP general manager and exclusive producer of Battlefield Hardline. So pretty much I have his picture up. This guy, he pretty much um, kind of like I was uh, the developer, right? Yeah, the developer of or general manager or whatever that is. Uh, not general, not whatever that is. I know what it is, but pretty much he he's gone. This guy right here, he's gone. I have seen him in many interviews. Um, I have, I don't know. They say he wasn't really, it says, we're not sure if, ha if Pap House is left on his own, according to EA. On his own, according 
accord or not. EA com commented not. EA didn't comment on whether he left or not. So, yeah, I don't know why he left. I mean, he, he's like a pretty cool guy. I, I seen him talk before in some of his interviews. Um, real chill back dude. Uh, but I don't know if this is necessarily going to hurt EA. I'm probably sure it's going to hurt him a little bit because he was kind of like the spokesman person for the games that go out there. So I don't know what the hell is going on with these people losing these people for these games. I don't know. It's just crazy, man. I mean, wow. But uh, yeah, moving on to the next one. Uh, they, uh, Square Enix had released. Had, Square Enix said they're going to be re revealing the game, and their game is Deus Ex: Mankind, the Vivid, Divided. Yeah, not the Vivid, Divided. So, and they had released their official box art, which I'll be playing, putting up on the top of the screen, and um, along, and I'll be reading it from here, along with the official announcement earlier today. Square Enix and Idios Montreal has revealed the cover art of Deus Ex: Mankind, Divided. So we're getting another Deus Ex, which looks like it's going to be on the next gen consoles. I have never played any Deus Ex games. I heard they were really good. I was thinking about buying Deus Ex Him Revolution, um, but I'm not too sure about that. So yeah, so pretty much, oh yeah, and we got another one. Grand Theft Auto 5, and this is the last one for today. Grand Theft Auto 5 is getting a PC release date. Yeah, finally GTA 5 getting a PC release date. And that is April 14th. The game comes out on PC April 14th. So finally, thank you. Please. Now all you fucking annoying ass modders or glitchers on current gen or wherever you're on can leave us the fuck alone. Please. Now that you have your game coming out on PC, leave us alone and stop fucking coming on your game and ruin our fucking fun. It's not like we're having, it's not like it's fucking even better like that. So, <clears throat> so some people like modders, but yeah. So, and there are some PC, PC, PC shots of saying that it's going to look like GTA 5 will span seven discs on PC if these images are legit, which I don't think so. I mean, I don't know if the game's going to have seven, seven discs. So, discs. So, yeah, pretty much. And there are some more screenshots out for PC right now. So the game's coming out April 14th. So that's all for today. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys all next video. Uh, and yeah, subscribe.